Hello everyone and welcome to one another very beautiful chess game between Labordene against Alexander McDonnell. Labordene was the first unofficial world chess champion who defended his title in a match against Alexander McDonnell actually for six different times and this is the match from 1834 so let's see what happened in this chess game this is also one of the notable chess games between Labordene and Alexander McDonnell. So Labordene starts the game with pushing to d pawn. We have d5. d4 is unusual for the romantic era of chess. And then c4, and this is the queen's gambit. And d takes on c4. Usually, in the romantic era, we see e4 and the Italian opening. E3, e5, bishop takes on c4. So this is queen's gambit accepted. And in this position, if d takes on e5, this is going to give black a pleasant position. As you can see, black is developing very quickly, so this is why we have developing the bishop with capturing the pawn and created a black created isolated queen's pawn, but black has no central control. Knight to c3, bishop to e7, knight to f3, and black castled h3, knight from b to d7, bishop to e3, attacking the bishop, defending, and then c6, Labordene castled and knight from f to d5 queen to e2 and alexander mcdonald is immediately charging labordene queen a rook from a to e1 and then pushing the pawn bishop back what is the threat queen takes bishop of course this knight is pinned so bishop to f6 knight to e5 queen over and then f4 fixing the f pawn pushing the pawn takes takes and then f5 Attacking the pawn, so queen to h5, and bishop to c2, queen to h4. Well, the idea is very simple. After queen to h4, of course this pawn was pinned. Black could not push the pawn. This time black is threatening to push the pawn, and then checkmating Labordene. So this is the threat. Queen to e4 by Labordene. He says, you can't push the pawn because I will take your queen. King over, and then finally capturing the pawn. But this was the idea of Alexander McDonnell. He wanted to open the G file. And this is attacking the bishop on D2. Well, Labordene captured the bishop. Knight takes on F6. And not defending the bishop, but this is a discover attack to the queen. Queen takes on F6. And then knight takes on D5. This is also attacking the queen. So capturing and then defending the bishop. And defending the queen, knight takes on d2, queen takes on d2, and white is a pawn up. Bishop up, finally developing the bishop, rook to e5 by Labordene. It looks like he is attacking the d pawn, rook over, doubling the rooks. Well, in this position, if you take the d pawn, that would be a very bad move. What would you do in this position if you had the black pieces? Then bishop to c6 and after defending the rook, if defending the rook, of course in this position, if bishop to e4, actually that is not losing for white, but if rook to e5, then rook takes on g2, if defending the rook, this is losing the queen. And maybe the chess game, so this is why in this position, not capturing the rook, and this was a crafty move by Alexander McDonnell. Queen to h4 and then rook up, bishop up, defending and then rook up. Pawn up by Labordene. Black captured the pawn. Labordene is created a very dangerous pass pawn. Defending the queen and then rook over. But then rook to e7. A very dangerous spot. A very logical move. Targeting the h pawn and invading the 7th file d4. Which square is the most deadly square for black in this position for the queen? What would you do in this position? Which square is the best square? Uh, Louis Charles Mahé de la Bordene. This was his full name, by the way. He played queen to e5, both attacking the bishop, but most importantly threatening the discover attack to the king, and that is nasty. Black is losing if pushing the pawn, so this is why rook to g5 by Alexander McDonnell. He says, don't push the pawn because I will take your queen. Well, la Bordene said, if you want to take my queen, you can have it. He pushed the pawn with check, sacrificing the queen, but he delivers a very aesthetic and a beautiful checkmate. He pushed the pawn, this is check. 
the only move. Wu Rook takes on f8, capturing the queen for the second time, but this time Alexander McDonnell is getting checkmated. Wu Rook takes on f8 by, Ale by Labordene. Checkmate. At move 36, we have seen this beautiful, brutal checkmate on the board. We didn't see any resignation, we see this beautiful checkmate by Labordene. He checkmated his strong rival. So, what do you think about this chess game? This was a fantastic chess game between Labordene and Alexander McDonnell. Not the most sound chess game, but aesthetically beautiful, interactive, beautiful chess game. And the final checkmate position is very aesthetic and beautiful. So, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.